Okay. So I guess pumpkin zone makes sense to do next. Hey there, can I actually hit you? Yes. Okay. You can never be too sure sometimes. Alright. Yeah, this is one of those times where I kind of wish there was a unique track for this, because you, know, you could have, you could have a, a nice little haunted theme going on here. Like, you could base it off of, like, ghost house themes. But, no, it's just a, another take on the main theme, which, yeah. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Cool, nice. Uh, boost, having a time. How you doing? Oh god. I feel like the hitboxes are, like, not where they seem. Because I feel like I've been getting hit when I probably... I kind of feel like I shouldn't. Okay. Do like... No Johns. It's not not a massive deal. It's not... hasn't been... It's not like Insane Trilogy kind of hitboxes, but... I don't know. Maybe it's an emulator issue. I, I don't know for sure. Good. Oh, okay. <laughs> because uh, I've never actually played this on official hardware. So we're just kind of... Oh. I didn't know that was actually going to hit me. <gasps> I, I didn't know that... I didn't know that was actually considered an, an, an enemy. Yeah, there's a, there's a... Yeah, there's two secret exits here, like I think I said earlier. There's one in this level and then the next one. Okay, I should have expected that at least. That was my bad. Hmm. Okay, can I jump on these? The gravestones, I think they are. Okay. Alright. Let's stop. Making dumb mistakes, please. Go down here. Okay. Oh. No. no. Actually, this is bad. You know, I can still duck. Yeah, so I, I need to actually make sure I can actually leave. That was good to just get um, health back. What the heck? Oh, I see. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Is it really checkpoint already? This level's is this level like just really that short? Okay, so those enemies just go in a straight path, like a like a scripted pattern, that's good to know. Yeah, I was worried it was gonna they were gonna like actively aim for me. I know the boos do. Oh god. Nah. Oh. Sure. Ah. <laughs> oh. And we can't get that. Sadness. Oh.
Okay. Awesome. Nice. Okay, so it's, yeah, Pumpkin Zone 2. So I need to go back there and find the secret exit. I have no idea where this is. And I don't know why I could have missed here. So I guess, yeah, I would just, hmm. Might be in a random pipe. I wonder if I should get 999 coins and see, and like, just... Spin the wheel of luck. <laughs> Probably gonna regret that. Yeah, I might as well. I, I don't really need to rely on that, so... Kind of just being... It would just kind of be a nerve, just... Ju just be a fun thing to do. Oh god. Okay, so you go down. Yeah, there's definitely nothing... Ain't nowhere I can really go here. Unless I can just go through a wall. Oh, this is probably what it is, actually. Or not. That doesn't really do much for me, actually. Huh. I don't know, then. I mean, the level's not over yet, so let's not... Let's not, um... Give up just yet. Is it that down there, actually? No, because that's just... Wait, what? I don't know... Oh, here we go! What is this? This is peculiar. Yeah, this has to be it. Yeah, like how those uh, sp those spikes fall when I'm no like no one near them, so it's just like, bruh. Oh, good. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, I can't say I'm a fan of the fact that you have to be like you can't have the 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 ears to um like do the spin jump. That that's kind of lame. Okay, so rid of that. we only have two secret secret exits left, so that's cool. Yeah, bunch of coins here. Oh great! I can't bounce on them properly. Damn it! No, sad. Sadness. Why am I just going here? Just ends the level. I want to play that again. Can I play that again? Do I, have to... do I really have to do the secret exit to play that again? That's stupid. Oh, wait, can I? Or can I just go back here? I do. Oh, that's dumb. Did I see the pathway there? Okay, you know what? Okay, we're back here now. So I, uh, th this is probably a complete waste of time, but I, I just want to make sure. So what I'm gonna do is um, I, I need to like, actually, bounce properly like that. I can't do it. It's so awkward. Okay, so we'll just go down here, I guess. Nope. 
I'm going to the proper exit. <laughs> it is just over here. Do, 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 do. Oh. Well, is that the only exit? Did I? <laughs> I thought like this is probably pointless. I'm getting lives. I go back. Is there seriously nothing up there? I assume not. I assume this is just like a get a bunch of coins kind of thing. Yeah, I can't get back up. Okay, fine. That was a waste of time, but it, it was um, it was needed for the experiment. <laughs> I needed to know for sure. So we'll get. I guess we'll just move on. And if, if I did miss something, then oh well. Okay, at least at least this is a unique track. Oh, well, screw me for expecting me me to be able to actually hit the ghost goomba. Wait, no, this is just a this is still a version of the main theme because I I know some 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 of the notes. Oh well. There is, again, there is a secret exit in this level as well, so... We're gonna have to find that. And, uh, yeah. This definitely seems like a good level to hide a secret, so... I can see why they did that. Interesting how this is the only world that only... That has uh, two exits though, uh, two secret exits though. Wonder why that's the case. It's probably just coincidence. Like they just thought, like even after already having one in the last level, they were like, you know what, this level we're making, this has a lot of potential for a good secret exit. So let's just put one here as well. <laughs> I don't know. Probably weren't thinking about it too hard. No, I want I want that checkpoint first. Actually, is it? Okay, what is this? Is this just, this just items? What in the heck? Why? Why is this like this? <gasps> oh, I see. It, okay, so I was, I was supposed to jump. Okay, okay. I messed it up. That's fine. That's a decent level. Uh, okay, where am I going? Just drop down. No, oh, down. Yeah, I don't really care at this point. Somehow I got. Somehow I got that. <laughs> Sure. Okay. So where this, where my hat is at? Where the secret exit be at, my boy? My boy. Can I go up here? Have any of these? It's kind of. Oh hey. Nothing. Kind of awkward to jump up the pipes. Oop. Easy now. Okay. Oh. Is it, it's probably going to be down here somewhere. Or not. Is it just... I like how the uh, windows light up to where the platforms are. That's very, that's very clever. I assume, yeah, I don't, oh, hey, hey, what is that? What is that? Oh, okay. I see things. Something's down here, maybe. Uh, please don't, I don't know, that's just death. That's probably death.
Okay, this is definitely something. Or it's just that, which I don't actually want. No, get up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No. Okay. What's with... <laughs> okay. Seriously. I, I just find it so silly, silly when they design stuff like that, where it's like, there's only one, one block of a uh, space where you can jump up. So what was even the point? Okay, so there's this, which is just power-ups. So I don't know why this would be like a thing. Ah, this way. No, damn it. No, who? Why? I ruined it. Wait, this fine. I don't think I need to do that. I knew that was going to happen. I couldn't really change my jump trajectory. No. Okay, where the hell... I don't know where this is. Hmm. Ah. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna fight the boss now. And then... I've been recording for almost two hours, so I th I think what I'm gonna do is just... Ra like, kill the boss. And I'll just... Come back next time and find a secret exit. Because it's getting pretty late. I've been recording for almost two hours, like I've said, and... I... I'm... Yeah. I I don't want to like force myself to finish this in one go just just for the sake of it. I know there's not much much of the game left, but you know, I don't want to force myself to do this like in in a in a single setting. I could do that with the first game fine because it was like barely over, it barely took me like 40 minutes to beat it, like over 40 minutes. And um I probably, probably would have been done with the game by now if I didn't keep dying and uh, not knowing where these secret exits were, but again, that's what happens when you don't know the game before. When you, when, when, this is my first time playing this game, so yeah, obviously I'm not going to know everything. So I'll just kind of fight this boss and then I'll come back to this. Cool game though. Pastor Boo. Okay, what does funny witch boss have to um, have to have to uh, make me do? Oh, it's just like t you're basically just Kamek. Okay. D, your um. Well, I, I'm get I I got hit a couple of times, but yeah, you basically just um, discount Kamek. Okay, I guess that makes sense because you know, witch magic, sure. Yeah, there's only like, there's yeah, there's only one world and then the final area. So I know this is kind of silly to actually. You know what? I'll do this. I, I'll at least uh, go and go to the roulette thing and uh, see what the what we'll get with the nine 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 coins. Like, thing. It's probably gonna be a mistake. Oh! Sure? Yeah, we'll go with that. That's not bad. Alright, cool. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna stop here. 
And again, I know, there's, I know there's only so much of the game left, but again, I don't want to force myself. So yeah, we'll just come, we'll just come back to this probably tomorrow in my time. In upload time, it I I don't know. I'll, I'll just what I'm gonna do because I don't know I don't trust this emulator to save properly. I'm gonna just make a save state so I know for sure that next time I come back to this game, it will actually load to this. So let me just test that real quick. Yeah, just. Yep. Okay. Cool. So yeah, we'll we'll figure out where pump where the secret exit is in Pumpkin Zone Three, and then we'll go to Space Zone, get the final coin, and then go to take the fight to Warrior, I guess, and finish the game. So yeah, there's not much else left of the game, and. Um, yeah, I don't see this taking like more than like maybe like 30, 40 minutes to uh, finish this up. But yeah, that'll be all, that'll be all for now. So I'll see you guys next time where we finish up the game. See you guys then. Okay, so I'm back, I guess. So this is, yeah, this has been recording, being recorded on the next day from last session. And yeah, I've managed to actually find the super exit. And I'm pretty proud of myself because I actually found that by myself. I didn't look that up or anything. So, you know, I guess at this point we just need to finish the game up. And I can't imagine it will take too much longer. Because we only have, like, Space World, and I assume that'll be it. Because I've already done the Witch Boss here. I almost kind of forgot until I, like, just remembered just now. But, yeah, we're pretty much done with this world. Just kind of need to do this. And fail. I probably should have just went for the bunny ears. The carrots. Oh, great, now I have to... Okay, that's kind of annoying, like, I don't know why they designed the game like that, like, if you die in a bonus level, you have to do the secret exit again. Like, why can't the level just be accessible from that point? Like, why do I have to do this again? Yeah, I can't say I'm a fan of that. I do still appreciate the, the fact that this game has secrets like that. Still. Oh, okay, that was weird. Easy now. Oh no. Uh just make a jump for it. I don't care about that heart. I mean there's one there. Oh what that was a mis oh okay. <laughs> Getting just freaking out. Okay. That was decently challenging. I'll give I'll give the game that. I think that's the reason why they didn't give me the bunny ears power up, because they knew that it would, it would make it too easy. Wait, do I go up here? No, I can't. Okay, where do I go to space land then? Up here? I don't know why I haven't been yet. I've done this, right? You know, I don't need to do this. Do I? Well, I guess I'm playing this level. Oh, you hold it. Okay, I thought you had to, like, mash. Okay, so... We're, I guess we're doing this now. Even though we've already played this. So I don't know if this is the way to the space zone, or what. 
Guess we'll find out soon enough. So this game kind of reminds me of Link's Awakening in the sense that, like, you just kind of ha randomly have Gordos from Kirby, and it's just all this weird, wacky stuff going on. It's very <laughs> dreamlike, I guess. Kind of similar to that game, in a way. Ooh. A little less so, but still. Or maybe not, I don't know. I don't care. Just do whatever. Of course, I'm getting a life. Getting a one up. Even though I don't need any. <laughs> My good lord. Oh, here we go. No, okay, we, okay that, that is space zone. So there's only two levels here, I guess. But this is cool, though. Like, zero gravity jumps. Is... We're in space before uh, Galaxy. Which is fitting because that's the next game I'm doing. So. All comes full circle. Come on. Okay, so I know that the. the the last secret exit is actually in this level, so I'm gonna have to take a look out for that. I also love how inconsistent it is whether like Mario can actually breathe in space or not. Because <laughs> um yeah, in the Galaxy games, you could I guess you could argue the Loomers do like helping Mario breathe, but like and then you have but then you have Gal what was it? Then you have Odyssey, which he can just breathe in space fine. <laughs> so I I don't know. And I highly doubt Cappy's, like, the cause of that. I... I think it's just, like, whatever the game, like, cares to do at the time. Like, if you want to make Mario have, like, a helmet, then sure. If not, then that's also fine. I don't... <laughs> they don't really care. Like, this is... This series doesn't really care about logic, like, at all, so... It just does whatever. <laughs> I know Super Paper Mario has a space section. I, I think I talked about this in the last session, but yeah, the it also had like a space area and it has like zero gravity stuff going on like this. And Mario also wore a helmet in that. And then I remember there being a weird, like a little shoot 'em up section similar to in Mario Land One, so. It's kind of interesting where some ideas come from in these Mario games. I think it does help. The fact that... Oh, okay, they are th actually spikes. I, I thought they were just decoration. Um, there's the... It's a pretty big... Um, no, what am I trying to say? The fact that Mario, the Mario games can just be so many different things and still feel like a Mario game is a testament to just how well th this series can adapt to different things. Like, you have so many different genres and so many different worlds that these characters can be in, and it just fits. And let's go back. Kind of wish this, kind of wish this world had like at least one extra level, because I assume when when I find the secret exit, it's just gonna go to like a grassland or something. <laughs> Not that this is like anything too crazy. Basically, just a re regular-ish level design with some. Zero gravity shenanigans going on. But still. It would be nice to have like one other level for this. Okay, so what am I exactly looking for here? Because I didn't really see much that could go off the beaten path. And I I made it this far. I, I've only got one secret exit left. I don't want to have to look this up. Oh, I found this. Oh.
Well, at least it sends me back to the checkpoint. That's handy, so I don't need to do the whole level. Okay. Well, I appreciate the fact that I don't have to do that stupid thing for this. Like, kill... Yeah, this is, a, this is a lot more simple than I was expecting. Yeah, I severely overcomplicated this. Like, I thought I had to do some crazy puzzle. And, nope. Just some jumps, and then you do it, and then you're good. Okay, please. God, I feel kind of dirty that I had to look that up. Oh well. I got all the- I, I found all the rest on my own, so I'll, I'll give myself that. <laughs> okay. This seems fairly standard. Am I dead? Oh. I'm fine. Is this just, here's all the stuff you could have gotten? Because if that's the case, I'm fine with it. I just... Yeah, cool. Whatever. <laughs> and now the moon's sad. No! Who's the real villain here? Oh, th now this just makes me... Th this just feels... Uh, what is it? Reminds me of... The, um... Oh! Okay, so now we, we can just kind of float around. But yeah, this just... I mean, the bottom bit at least reminds me of... What, the Nightmare Boss from Kirby's Adventure? Just without all the colour. Also, I was... Like, wrong about, at least Mario Land 1 having, like, not having a color version. Like, apparently there is a version of the game that does have color in it. And it just, that version was just never re-released. I don't know if Land 2 has one like that. I don't know if this game has a color version. Or not, I don't know if it's, like, Game Boy Color specifically. It, it might have been. I don't know. I don't, again, I don't know too much about these two games. So, <laughs> forgive my ignorance. But, yeah, I I, like, I knew, like, color versions of these two games existed, but I don't know if they were, like, a fan thing, like, a, a fan mod, or, like, actually official. But apparently, at least w one of the things for Land 1 is. So, yeah, there's that. This is a cool level. It's very similar to the shoot 'em up stages from the first game. Just without a lot of the shooting, and more just the movement, but hey. It's cool. I like it. Can't actually kill these guys, can I? Well... Okay, I can. It's just they keep on doing weird stuff, so it's hard to hit them. I can't believe I tried getting that, like, I can't believe I thought I had to do some stupid stuff with that secret exit, like, yeah, that didn't, that, in hindsight, that really didn't feel right, so I, I'm so, I'm, I'm glad that wasn't the solution, but god, I wasted so much time doing that. It's a fairly lengthy stage too, this. Oh god. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, what is the boss gonna be? Oh, it's just Tatanga. How are you doing? Back in your little space machine thing. I guess, I guess it makes sense. Considering that... Can I just jump on you? No? Yes? Maybe? What am I supposed to do? I can't just land on this guy. I feel like that would be too easy. Probably overcomplicating this. Oh, I can't- yeah, okay, I was just- oh, uh, of course. Okay. I just need to, like, time this right. I don't really have much room for error. If 
funny how the final boss of the last game ends up being the best boss of this game. At least so far. I don't know how good Wario is. I guess we'll find out. I do know that he's like one of those kinds of Oh damn it. I do know that he's one of these one of those kind of bosses that has the same kind of moves that you do. So I think he's gonna be using power-ups and whatnot, which is gonna be pretty cool. I like I'm gonna I'm looking forward to seeing how that pans out. Okay. Yeah, I can't see the firefly actually helping much, so just having an extra hit point is good. Especially when you make dumb mistakes like that. Can I just... Yes. Okay, I was gonna say, did I break the boss? <laughs> oh, I thought I could cheese it. Damn it. Oh god. So I wonder, is the is the castle stage just one big level or is it just a regular world? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Alright. Sadness! Why do I keep getting hit immediately? Sad. Oh, dude. Okay, don't go- don't jump- don't float to where he is. That's just gonna cause pain. Okay. Alright, so this is... Oh, dude, why? Apparently I just can't do get the first hit in without taking damage. It's just... I'm just incapable of that. This is actually fairly challenging. Okay. And... DEAD! Okay, there we go. That was a pretty good boss. I like that. Definitely a lot more challenging than any of the other bosses. Hooray! Okay, so does, does it just make me go... Go there immediately, or is it... Do I actually have to walk there? Yeah, I can have to walk there, okay. So... Yeah, let's just go to the roulette thing one more time. Even though we don't really need to, might as well use up the coins. Not quite 999 again, but... That's fine. I'll just kind of mash... I'll just, I'll just mash A. Because we're not... We're gonna, not going to be using these coins for anything else. It'd be funny as hell if we actually manage to get 99 lives from this. That also requires me to get like 20, a 20 up like a bunch, which, yeah, that's not happening now. And yeah, nothing. Lol. Is that... I thought that witch was like mooning me for a second. Fifty-four. Okay. And let's finish this game, shall we? Oh, let's do it. So now I have a. So yeah. So I guess it's just one level. So this is. I. <laughs> it's funny to imagine like this is. This isn't just. Wario changing the castle to be like a a death <laughs> like just death everywhere like it's it's funny to just imagine this is what it was always like Mario just enjoys going through these like 
castles like with all these like death traps and whatnot. It's like I, I need <laughs> I, just, uh, I need to get some exercise in. Just like he just enjoys this stuff. <laughs> uh, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised. He does it so often. It's just like it's just a regular Tuesday for him. And yeah. Okay, come on. Let's finish this game. Yeah, I do. I will say um, there are some things I do prefer in Land One. I, I get. I like I've been saying. I feel like the difficulty, the difficulty, is a lot more challenging in the first game. I, I say that, I do I do think this game had its decent share of challenge in a few parts. Like this final level is, is uh, showing its stuff right now. Um, but for the most part I'd say that this game is overall easier, it, like, as a whole. I definitely say that this is, this so far seems to be more challenging than anything in the first game. But that's also, oh my god. That's also because I can't jump. <laughs> but uh, that, that's also because, you know, it's meant to be like the final stage and all that stuff. Whereas I feel like all the like the regular stage stages in the first game were more challenging. Like maybe I'll be singing a different tune when I, like, become more familiar with that. But I don't know. I feel like the game just required a lot more precise jumps than this one. Oh, dude. I mean, this is... I mean, this final stage is definitely no slouch. I'll give it that. Like I said, this is... This seems to be more challenging than anything in the first game. So I'll give the game that. It's a very good final stage. Not really sure how long it's going to be, but... It's making me actually... Die a fair bit. <laughs> And again, I just love, love the idea, idea that this is just, this was just how the castle was always, like, built. Mary just enjoys this stuff. I mean, considering he, he invites Bowser to, like, parties, kart races, and um, all this other stuff, like... Bruh. <laughs> This is actually kind of difficult. Yeah, I'd say overall, I'd say I like this game better, but I will say that um, Land One is a good, just simple platformer that you can beat in 40 minutes and. If I'm in, if it, uh, what is it, if I'm in more of the mood to play a, a shorter game, then I definitely play Land 1 over this, but if I just, if I want a more complete experience with more fleshed out level design and, like, just level concepts and whatnot, then I'd play this game. The two definitely have their strengths and weaknesses. Oh, that was 
That was interesting. Oof. Oh. oh, how did I survive? Oh. This isn't too bad. And in this section I just need to wait. Pretty much. I might be able to run past these, but I'm not gonna risk that. I'd much rather have my extra hit points. No! What? Oh, dude. Okay, fine. What even is this? <gasps> oh. Oh god. Can I just leave? <laughs> uh. God. Okay, can we put, can we end this please? Checkpoint. Why is there no checkpoint? Okay, fine. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, please. Oh God. Oh no! That's not going to be the end, the end, is it? Okay, it's another power up. Very handy. I'm sorry if I'm not talking much. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I d really don't want to die right now. So gonna die. How am I supposed to time this? Oh my god. A stupid statue. No! Oh my god. Oh, please be the end. Don't do a third phase. Oh. What are you gonna do here? Oh, good. Oh my god. Just die! Please! <laughs> Why did the game give me no checkpoints? I swear to god. Okay. That should be the end! Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh! I didn't expect a Mario game of all things to give me so much stress. And now the castle's back to normal. It's gonna turn back into an M. Yeah, okay. Oof, that was a gauntlet and a half. They really, <laughs> they heard me when, when I kept on saying the game was too easy, so yeah, let's make the final level just completely insane. <laughs> Seems legit. And then this car, he'll just never go back to this castle ever again. Oh. So yeah, that's the game. So yeah, I, I, I'd say overall I'd like, I'd, I'd say I like this game better. I, get, I I pretty much said all I all I needed to in like pre in the previous areas. Like I think the areas are more defined. There's more interesting stuff going on. The level concepts are more fleshed out. 
I like the fact that there, there are secret exits and I feel like the two power-ups they have are, um, like, I feel like one doesn't overshadow the other and there's reasons to want to use, like, a fire flower over the bunny ears and vice versa. I do, I do think there's also a good balance between the two in, t in terms of finding the secret exits. I like and don't like the open structure because on one hand it lets you just do any world at your own pace but on the other hand it also kind of messes with the difficulty because since you can do that the game can't really like about the game can't really um balance the, the difficulty as you play the game every world kind of has to be a, like a a, the same general set of difficulty, with the exception of the final level, <laughs> um, evidently, because yeah, the final level is that's um, that's hard as hell. Good lord, <laughs> especially for a Mario game. I again, it could it could also be the fact that I'm not familiar with the game, but I like even then, I still feel like it was genu genuinely a difficult level. Um, and again, I, play, I played through Hollow Knight, so I'm no stranger to uh, being a difficult game. So, you know that the fact that I was still that I was still like having issues, even even though I played harder games than this, does kind of go to show that that was genuinely a difficult stage, especially since there were no checkpoints. Like, why weren't why wasn't there a checkpoint before Wario? Like, come on, come on, guys. But besides that, though, I did enjoy this game quite a bit. I don't really see myself coming back to these two games often, but Mario, La Mario Land 1 is a nice distraction for 40 minutes if you want like a quick, fun 2D platformer. And Mario Land 2 is a nice, is a very nice follow-up. And yeah, I gotta say I'm, I'm glad I finally managed to play these two games. And I can see why people like them. And yeah, the mu music was fine. I, I don't, I wasn't too big on the fact that every world was basically just a remix of the main theme. The main theme itself is fine. I, it, it kind of got stuck in my head to, uh, earlier today. Um, so I guess it has that going for it. It's very memorable. But the theme itself, I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorite Mario themes by a long mile. But it's, uh, it's not half bad, and yeah, good stuff all around, I'm um, um, happy I played this, like I said. So yeah, that's the Mario Land duology. I, again, I do know that there's technically a Mario Land 3, which is basically just Wario Land 1, which diverges into its own sub-series that, at, like I said, I don't really have any plans to do those games, but Never say never. I might at least, at the very least, LP shake it because that's one I actually, I've actually played before and I n actually know that game. But besides that, no real plans. And yeah, that's basically it. I don't really have much else to add to this. So yeah, fun, fun little game. Next time we're going to be uh, going through Super Mario Galaxy with Scrappy and maybe Jason. Like I said, I have to talk to the talk to them to figure that out, but that should that should be fun, and yeah, I I've been dragging this out longer than it needs to, so that's all I've got. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.